Good morning everyone. Today we're gonna finish or continue with the rabbit cage and try to get this one up and working up from the ground and I can show you my idea how I'm gonna make it here. So the idea is that we have winter and then we have yeah spring to summer to to autumn. So those are the two different stages the rabbit will be in and for the spring summer and autumn it's pretty clear we have our cages and they will be and they will be on grass and the idea here is to add a wheel here and uh, some kind of handle to be able to lift this up and uh, move it to new spots so they will have fresh grass underneath all the time so they can stick up here and eat. So that's the spring, summer and autumn solution and that's pretty easy and since there is since there is kind of wire underneath the poo will go will fall down and just make the grass even better. So that's a quick and easy or the best actually solution. The rabbits will have grass or pasture fed all the time. We will have beautiful meat and the rabbits will be happy. But the winter part is the more tricky situation. We have our house, something like this. We have our chicken house and the plan is to have the rabbits in we can call this room number one and this room number two. This is the big one where we have the rabbit cage at the moment. Two problems here. We have one cold floor and two poo. So we want to collect the poo easily and also we want to raise them up from the floor so they don't get that cold. And since I'm going to move them out in a few months, I don't want to make any permanent permanent installation I think so if this is the on top view yeah we press them up a bit with some kind of things I don't know what but then we have the solution for the cold it's much better because it's, it's colder the lower you go so raise them up quite a bit but we still have the poo problem and I think one solution for this is to have this is the cages. If we have a panel that is going pretty steep underneath, the poo will go down and well in theory at least it will it will collect down here so it's easier for me to clean the poop and poop and save it for the gardening later. Okay, so I think we have a plan now. For coal now during the winter, we will raise them up. I think I will screw them into the wall and have some planks just supporting here underneath and have a tarp or something tighten up so we have somewhere for the poop to pull down and collect underneath okay that's a good plan and yeah for the summer we will have a wheel and have that mobile so they have fresh grass all the time i think that's it so that is the plan at least so i'm trying to figure out now where where to put it actually found two building blocks so maybe that's okay actually to with this with this first version I'm afraid actually I need to brush out all the things from the floor first and then plan where to have them so get the mask and do a quick broom first so sorry if it's not the best lightning at the moment, but I need to think, I'm not sure if I can carry this all by myself. Can't just move this by myself, and no one can help me at the moment. So I think I just need to 
clean air, move it, clean air, and then go from there. I guess work what we do have. So let's do this. This is quite exhausting. Maybe it's better to have both tensions like this. I think I'm changing my mind. So, at the moment, they have some clear through, so they cover the ground and the poo. They go down there and we put the carpet underneath. And it's kind of level. And I'm not sure if you can still need to do some clean out, but to clean out that, but it's looking good. I'm gonna do a clean out on that one, a little bit inside, and then try to move in the other one.
so the idea here is to I think this cage was not built to be raised up so if they jump here it's a little bit like a trampoline and maybe it will break this so the idea is to have some the, the rem somewhere to sit that's not metal and uh, yeah let's drill this in but first I need to cut Yeah, there's no exact size to this, so, so I'll just do a mark, work this off, and then drill it in. Moment of truth if I made it or not. Yeah, cool. So yeah. Maybe it's better to have the One last dust off and then we'll put the tarp underneath to collect all the poo. Okay, I think version one of the rabbit cage is done. It's kind of temporary because we need to put it up on the wall to have a sloping poo collection. <laughs> but this is how it looks at the moment. Uh, we have the cage a little bit more cleaned out. We have the feeding place for the hay on this side. And also we add an extra support for rabbits to sit down, but also to strengthen the, the uh, netting underneath the metal netting. And uh, we also have the plastic all the way over here to collect the poo, uh, as I previously said. And uh, you can easily just remove all out this and then em empty it in our compost. <coughs> yeah, the idea is next is to maybe to drill an extra hole here to be able to separate the cages if uh, the females uh, have children we will need maybe to separate them I'm not sure yet but it's always good to have a possibility if they fight or yeah you never know but yeah so the idea now is to put in put in the really really broken rabbit cage and see if it's possible to fix that one and then we have a setup with the true rabbits so, uh, yeah, maybe get the shovel to get the snow away first and then uh, see if we can lift it. Lift it alone. This is a long shot. What if I put the shovel here? Yeah. 
shelf and the sledge underneath. Actually, I have two sledges I found. Ah, right there. Ta da! After some muscling, it's finally in. Yeah, this whole thing needs to be replaced, just breaking apart. So the, some plywood here on three sides and a top lid. All the metal is actually really, really good. This needs to be replaced as well and not bolted, but attached here again. And uh, also this one, I think, and maybe probably this one. So probably the, the whole frame that's been lying on against the ground this actually looks pretty okay we'll see and uh, needs to be replaced and maybe this one too i can't really do that much at the moment because uh, i need to wait until the snow disappears and it dries up a little bit so i can see more and at the moment the car is on repair so i can't really go to the hardware store and pick up some plywood to replace that I have a lot of things on the top here or old planks and wood so I can replace everything here without going to the hardware shop mm, so uh, so that's good actually this cage actually has a side uh, cage to open and a top one as well uh, and also a place to close here so that's actually pretty good. Maybe I'll just do the same design as this one on uh, on this one, or maybe I just have some lid to to just or plank to just pull down there. But yeah, everything is starting to come together. One rabbit case is actually already ready to to put rabbits in. All we need now is hay and food, but that can be bought in a store. So. That's no stop, so I think I, I'm gonna place two females here and uh, we'll see if we need to separate it or if it's okay. This one actually looks bigger, so maybe I'm gonna separate this one in the middle here and have one male and one optional or open for maybe when they have children and, and so on. We'll have to do some and you have to do some research about that. But actually happy about this day. Need to do some more cleaning, but you don't need to see that. You've seen enough cleaning. And uh, yeah, things is actually coming together. And you can see um, my hands is really hot and really warm because they're steaming. Hmm. I guess I've been working that fast. Uh, no, jokes aside. If you like this video and want to see me more doing farming stuff and homesteading stuff and progressing here on the farm hit that subscribe button down below uh, leave a like and if you feel like it leave a comment also and you guys i see you in the next one